Well, I'll tell you what, uh, change could be hard and it can feel like, it can honestly feel like it's a sucky time. Um, I will tell you, um, just a few months ago, I thought that, um, honestly, I just thought God was opening up another door in football with the Jaguars. And so, you know, I'm, you know, we're, we're playing and, and, and I get cut and I go home and I'm super disappointed. And, uh, to be honest, just really frustrated. And I think to really tell the truth, probably a little bit bitter and envious and thinking like, like, honestly, God, I thought this was what you wanted. I mean, I talked to all these pastors beforehand. They were telling me all this. And, you know, I, I saw wise counsel. I, you know, we prayed about it. We did all these things. And I was just like, man, God, I thought this is what you wanted. I mean, turned down a lot of other things. Turned down playing baseball again. Turned down so many things. And that same day I get cut, can't make this up, all this stuff starts to happen in Afghanistan. And... So I start, our team starts calling. And so I go over to the, our foundation offices and we're talking, talking through all our partners and everything. And not many hours after that, uh, I was in a plane to the Middle East. And then we're stopping at these different countries and different places. And we have teams uh, in, in the ground, you know, in Afghanistan and surrounding countries. And we're, we're all sp splitting up, going to different places and helping in, you know, different lines, different feedings, different security, different um, uh, evacuees. And I remember flying from one of the countries to another one. And I just remember for the first time in a little while to being able to say, God, thank you for letting me be cut. Because what I got to, to be, see and be a part of, of just seeing, you know, so many lives be thrown away and hurting and be... Um, I mean, terrible things, but we we got to be a part of, of helping at least some, and um, not enough, but we got to be a part of, of helping a lot, and, you know, I just remembered being able to say, God, thank you, because if I would have been playing football, if I wouldn't have gotten cut, I would have been... I would have been practicing or playing this game that I knew was not as important as what I had the chance to do there in the Middle East to help those lives. And I couldn't see the picture and I just didn't know it. And I thought, God, this is a sucky setback. And, and you know what? But what was cool is when I'm on, on all those flights flying from the different countries is I remembered, wait a second, if I wouldn't have gotten cut, Beyond a shadow of a doubt, because this is just what I do, I would have had events and planning and had all these things that there's no way I would have been instantly ready to fly to the Middle East because I couldn't have canceled them. That's just, you know, and so God was saying, no, 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 you thought that I had a setback. Really, I was actually just setting you up for what I wanted you to do to help these lives here. And, uh, and you know what? Change can feel hard and it can feel so sucky. But what I want to encourage you is sometimes what can feel like a setback in our life is actually God setting you up for what he really has in store for you in that moment. And I want to encourage you to don't just look at it as a setback, but say, okay, even though it feels like that, God, with my emotions, what are you doing? What are you teaching me? How are you setting me up? Because also if we look at scripture, so much of the heroes of the faith, before God used them greatly, he wounded them deeply. And before he used them greatly, a lot of times they went through some different setbacks. And, and you know, maybe in your life, God, you okay, you're changing me, but how are you, you know, what are you trying to do in me, with me, and through me in this moment? And so I would encourage those people if he's, if you're going through a time of transition, you know, it doesn't always feel good. But I also think sometimes that's where God can be setting you up for what he really wants for you in that moment. That can actually be that time where you could say, you know what, I couldn't see it. But now I can thank you for it. And I just want to say thank you, God. Mm -hmm.